Now, welcome back, everyone, to the exciting episode of Morocco. Oh, well, we are at war with the Mamelukes, and I made one of the stupidest mistakes in my life. I just instantly, like, attacked these guys. Like, didn't even, like, do anything but attack them. Was thinking I could do everything. I was really feeling confident about myself, and then I made a stupid mistake. Which was, I forgot to get my full morale up, and now they're attacking without full morale, and so that's really bad, and oh no, I could possibly die. Yeah, and over here, yeah, now that we're done with some of these other colonies, it's time to start colonizing some of Madagascar. I know a lot of you guys are wondering why am I not colonizing all this yet, because I already own all this, basically. I don't need to colonize that, but that's not what you guys are worried about. You guys are worried about the battle right now, but I'm more worried about colonization and expansion, which is what I'm supposed to be worried about. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's actually get down to the real battle. Uh, I was worried about this battle until I realized I have 23 men coming after them. If they- Oh my goodness, really? Guys, don't you dare lose. Don't you dare lose. Don't you dare lose. I will say it again, don't you dare lose. Yeah. Oh my- Oh my goodness, that was probably the worst battle I've ever fought. Like, hands down. How did- how did a a minuscule okay okay at least at the sea I know I don't have any worries okay I know that I have such a great fleet I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be able to break through it this is the one good thing about having an insanely awesome fleet is that it's not going to be crushed no matter what they do no matter what they try my fleet is going to endure yeah look at that that look at that is all due to that prestige I gained dang yeah, I need to do some more land missions, because that's just terrible. I mean, just terrible. It's not even, like, you know, somewhat terrible. Like, I could actually get away with kind of terrible. That's just terrible. Let's see. Are we finally in the range of 16, 17? Okay, that's finally in the range, so I don't have to be too much. And having lower, lower mercenary cox would help. Cox, no. No, I meant uh, mercenary cox would help me a lot, but dang, that's really bad. Like, insanely, insanely bad. And, by the way, people, I will not mind feeding my vassal a lot of land. Because, as you guys know, we are slowly annexing them. So, if if the Ottomans take a lot of land, that's fine with me. I mean, I, I really don't care. They can take as much land as they want. Uh, Persia, though, not so much. They can't take any land. Uh, yeah, but that's really bad. That was, like, an insanely bad battle. It just proved to me that my army is just utterly terrible. Oh gosh, how did you guys lose? I don't even, I, I, I don't have the words to express just how bad that was. I mean, there's got to be words out there, but let's see. How good is my secondary leader? Do I want to kill him off? Yes, I want to kill off my secondary leader because he kind of stinks. So, uh, this is my king. Wait, how old is my king, by the way? 43, yeah, he's not gonna die, so, let's see, go to, go to here, let's gain our king, and, uh, he has no cannon fire, but he's much better at everything else, okay, so he should probably be the leader of my main army, oh, gosh dang, that was terrible, that was just terrible, I mean, this, there's nothing to really say anything, I thought I had that in the bag, Somehow I lost, oh, there we go, my, the Ottomans are cleaning up my mess. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Gosh dang, your, your overlords are really displeased right now for what just happened. And please, when you guys are submitting your annexation ap application, do not consider this a reason to not ex to not go on with the process, because this was just a fluke. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get a lot better at army maintenance and all that kind of stuff once we gain a lot more land. Okay. It seems like the Persians are doing a lot of this stuff and getting crushed by Oman. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, we're just kind of expanding just a little bit inwards. I think what we're going to try to take from Henjez this time is just... We just want to kind of either break them up into another country or do some other stuff. With, with Oman, they could just remain where they are. I don't really care about Oman. With, with the Mamluks, I'm going to see if I can, like, give... The Ottomans all this land right here because they're occupying so much and then give you know 
and then just give myself like maybe two provinces. You know, just completely and utterly diplo annex everything. What are you guys doing? I don't don't worry about anything. I mean, I now have an insanely big army right over here blocking their path. It's okay, they're not gonna be able to do anything to try to come over here. We basically don't don't worry. Don't worry guys. Okay, it seems like I'm having a little bit of lag, so I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. So yeah, please just keep please for the love of Benji, just keep oh my goodness, that's a big army. Uh for the love of Benji, just keep, you know, conquering all this and Persia, you get out of here. You don't get you don't get to be in here. You guys are important. Well, let's see, I do I did have a fleet over here. Do I still have a fleet over here? The siege is now over. Good. Okay, so that means one siege is done. Let's just move over here so that way we have a bigger area and we're getting closer to Talagi. And the reason why I want to get to Taljura Tal is because that will give us an instant advantage. The Ottomans are, of course, crushing every army in their sight. Uh, we're getting attacked over here again. Luckily, this time we actually have a leader, so the siege is... It's not going too bad this time. Yeah, we actually have our son. Our son's leading the charge, and he's actually doing a decent job. And there we go, with those two armies combined, should be able to, like, there we go. Oh, we had, like, extra help. No, we didn't. That was all of our army. Okay, apparently they're going to, uh, let's see, where is the Mameluke's army? Uh, Dunschmidt. Okay, go to Dunschmidt. We're gonna go chase them down. We wanna chase down this army so that we don't have any more Mameluke's, because they could be the ultimate threat to us. It seems like they're going up, so just follow them upwards. I don't know where they're exactly going, but we're just gonna keep following them. Yeah, we're chasing- we're hounding these guys. We're not gonna let them get away. Okay, and we're getting closer and closer to our friends. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer. 44, 40, can we win this, guys? 43 on the 22. I don't know anymore. Let's see. Oh, this is actually going pretty good. There we go, we won. And there we go, we crushed the entire army. So, now it's time to carpet siege. Well, actually, I want I want my vassal to carpet siege this, so I'm going to, like, retreat my men, and let's see. Yeah, like I said, as many, just as much land as I can give the Ottomans, just feed them so much land would be nice. Like, if I just keep feeding them as much land as possible, they'll soon become this gigantic, like, warring state of awesomeness. I mean, you got you guys know what I'm thinking of. Like, just all this land. If I just like feed them every single one of these provinces, that I'm gonna give them, and then I just dip, annex them. Ooh, we. This is gonna be a great. It's just gonna be like instant cores, instant access. I mean, it won't be. It'll be so easy for me, which would be nice. So let's just gain all this. What I do want to do though is I do want to take over Alexandria by myself because Alexandria is rightfully my province. Let's see. We're also having some money woes. Wartime taxes! <laughs> I love wartime taxes because it like gives you such a feeling of just power. It's just like, oh, our economy's going a little bit bad, I see. Well, raise the taxes! And let's see, we have exactly equal to Great Britain. Well, we're about to not have exactly equal because I built the ship that will soon tip us over. So, let's see, you guys stay right here then. Stay right here. Just Let's just keep spreading out onto the land. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping my Ottoman friends actually get the memo and are able to, like, figure out what they need. Yes! Rulers of the Seas. 60% more stuff. That means now naval supplies. What do I need to do? Naval supplies. Which is when the following is met? Naval supplies produces province at least one. Okay, that gives me five more naval. Oh my goodness, it gives us so much. And yes, I am playing a little bit extra for force limit, but it's not really too much. But let's see. Hmm. If I was to have this, I don't feel like this would be that hard of a like. Wait, does it mean the building naval supplies? Let's see. Uh, cause that could be a little bit harder. If they mean the building naval supplies, that could be a little bit harder. Let's see. This is this is on a. Shipyard grand shipyard navy. All still navy base. No, they must mean embassy. No, they must mean what I think they mean. They must mean like naval supplies, like actual legit naval supplies. Huh. Well, I've never seen that event, but eh. I don't believe it fits my goals, honestly. And 
to achieve religious unity, I think we could probably do that much quicker. Because we're going to be doing that in a couple months here. Or at least soon enough months. I'll call it, yeah, that's what I'll call it. Let's call them soon enough months. And while the Ottomans are completely being their Ottomanish selves, we're just completely taking over the rest of our good friends, the, uh, the Mamelukes, who are happily obliging to our rules of, of war, which is they die and we live. Mm -hmm. Perfect conducts of war. Although the Ottomans are kind of scaring me a little bit by them spreading themselves out insanely thin and not killing off all the armies and then going to go spread themselves insanely thin. That's kind of bad strategy, I'm just going to tell you that now. Okay, let's go right here. Alright. Yeah, we're just trying to yeah, we're just trying to make sure we gain most of the mainland. So I want to make sure if I'm going to transfer all this to my vassal, they realize what they're in for. Okay, and we can kind of speed it up now. Hopefully, hopefully my game can handle it. You guys just stay back here because I might need more more people over here trying to protect all these colonies. Oh, by the way, you're a colony now, and you guys need forts. Now, don't you all need forts? You all need forts. Okay, I'll have to deal with that later. But, oh my goodness, yes. So, what do we want out of this war? Well, I think what I definitely want from this war is, like, gaining all of this. Like, for myself, I want all of this. So, that's going to take a lot of war score. For the Ottomans, I want them to gain as much land as possible. As humanly possible as we can gain, let's gain it. I just want to see if we can, like, stack the Ottomans into this really insanely beefed up nation. Because that would be awesome. Like, severely and utterly awesome. College damage. Colony damage. Oh, no. Such a sad... Oh, dang, that is actually a sad event. I was just, I was just mocking myself there for a second. I really... Uh, dang. Lose. I don't really need prestige. Uh, okay. And actually, we can start actually colonizing some of this area. I think I want to. I think I want to be a little bit safer with my colonies. Manpower, yes. Actually, it's still got more colonies, so never mind. Okay, so let's see. Henjes, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna want to surrender here soon. I don't. I do believe these guys are basically like. Yeah. No, they don't want to surrender. Let's see. Release nations of a doll. I think I might want to release a doll. That way I can easily annex them. Or if I can, can I actually give territories to my vassal? Uh. Oh, apparently, apparently I can't feed my vassal anything. Apparently anything he conquers instantly belongs to me. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I guess what we want out of these guys is I want them to free a doll. That way I can instantly annex these guys. Okay. Cause that make my life a lot easier. Okay, so yeah, that's what I guess that's what we want from hedges. So once they're willing to give that up, that's what we'll get from them. And then for everyone else, well, we'll just have to see. Cause I don't really know what we want from everyone else. Okay, and siege of Cairo over. Yeah, the siege of Cairo should give us a lot. <laughs> Uh, we're about to gain the war score too, and we're about to destroy like six fleets here, so that's gonna be nice. Okay, so we got another siege over here done. And yeah, look at this, we're just gathering up our army again as it slowly rebuilds. Henjes, okay, Henjes, I'm gonna tell you what you guys are gonna have to do to, to uh, gain peace. You guys are gonna have to release the nation of a doll. Okay, you guys are already gonna do that. What do we need then? Diplomatic points, shoot. Okay, so we're gonna have to keep. Wait, will you guys release it naturally? Uh, no. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna have to wait until our diplomatic points catch up. Come on, diplomatic points! And so once we do that, then we can get these guys out of the war and then just start conquering all of this. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just slowly taking over the entire, like. Yeah, look at this. All of Morocco is just breaking. They don't even have an army anymore. This is. Yeah, now we got even more better army. Ah oh, man, this must Morocco. The Mamelukes are just getting messed up right now. Just getting messed up. I'm not even seeing a fight anymore. It's gone. It's gone. All right, now we have enough to pull points. All right, Henjes, you guys will be our first sacrifice. <laughs> not really sacrifice, but you guys will be releasing that nation. And I'm pretty sure once they do that. Okay, so let's gain a pause. There we go. Conquest. You guys love us. Does that mean I can instantly get below annex you guys? 
Oh, it's too technologically advanced. Dang it. Oh, that stinks. So, yeah, apparently we can't annex you guys because they're too technologically... We're too technologically advanced. Gosh dang, I hate when that happens. Okay, so... Yeah, we're just... Apparently we're just gonna have to kill these guys, which I'm pretty sure they're Sunni. Am I guessing right? The Sunni? You guys Sunni? Yeah, you guys are Sunni. So yeah, we're just gonna have to war against everyone around me. Which I think I'll do in like another like big war. But for right now, let's finish up with this war. Uh, Oman, what do we want out of you guys? If you guys could just like get out of the war, that'd be fine. I don't... I don't really care. Nothing really like... Hmm. Uh, and all your treaties. Force religion, transfer trade power. See, there's like nothing that would really be of that much of interest to me. Like, in all honesty, you guys can just get out of the world. I don't really care. Just everyone focus in on the main bad guys. The numero uno, the people that caused us to go to war. The Mamelukes, and we're gonna see what we can steal from these guys. Cause I know they're pretty big, and they're probably not gonna be—they're gonna be too big for us to uh, diplo annex this time. I already—I already know that's probably not a good idea, and we're not gonna spend any diplomatic points for a little bit. Diplomats have arrived! Huzzah! 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 Now let's see. Oh man, that looks like a nice doll. When I have the opportunity, doll, I'm just gonna completely. Maybe I should just like annex you or something. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about what I could do with you, but it's going to be great. Uh, Crimea. Oh, yeah, you guys are also in the war. <laughs> Completely forgot. Okay. We can see defeat. Uh, sure. Yeah, Crimea. You guys can get out of the war for that. And now it's just the Mamelukes. The poor little Mamelukes. Who well, I'm about to have 100% on. You need more manpower. Of course, guys. Of course. We need more manpower. Our manpower is so low right now. Oh, wait, how much are we gaining? Okay, we're gaining a thousand a month. That's good. That's about what we need to be gaining right about now. Okay. So, Mamelukes. Let's see. What can we do? Release nations of Syria. Syria would do drastically decrease their power, but why would I do it? Poor province. Could I gain that if I did that? It would drastically weaken them, but would it drastically help me? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Let's just not do that for now, and let's see. If I want to take Alexandria, this, and... Okay, now we got this. I need to also take Sunni. Oh, wait, I can't. Dang it. <laughs> okay, then... Yeah, revoke cores on all your stuff. This is all going to be soon my land, so... Secede provinces, yeah. This is... Yeah, give me all your money. Yeah, that's way too much. I already knew that was going to happen. Yeah, just cancel alliances with, like... Kilwa. Yeah, you don't get to be allies with Kilwa. Yeah. But this is what I'm requesting of you guys. You guys have to accept every single one of these. And I can't get out of this war until 178. Dang it. Okay, let's get the coin cost though. Yeah, let's definitely get the coin cost now. In fact, before we before we end this war, before we start coin, let's make sure we like get one more like idea group so we can gain all this stuff. Because if we if we can gain this, yeah, one more idea, we get this hundred percent Berber coin cost. Oh, hostile coin cost. Oops. Oh yeah, that just means that people of other stuff have hard time. Well, that's still... I still got 25% less coin cost. So, once this is all over, I still get 25% less coin cost. So, that's still nice. That's still nice. You know, it's not what I envisioned. It's still nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Kind of think so, because I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Now, let's see. This is the full fleet that we built over here. So, let's start gaining all these guys over here into a nice little conglomerate power... Maybe this will be like my, my second, my second like heavy ship empire. Blame the Sultan! That's always a good idea, everyone. Of course, blame your ruler of your country for your problems. They threaten our trip. Moldavia, really? Moldavia, I'm more powerful than you. Why would you even try that? 
I, I guarantee if I really had like the interest, I could destroy you. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.